Hi everyone. So I've had a couple of people ask if I would do a flip through of the book that I put all of my um, use up paint into. And uh, so since a couple of people now have asked about it, I'm going to go ahead and flip through, even though it's not completely filled yet. I'm going to go ahead and show you what's inside it because it's, it is kind of cool. And uh, it's cool because it wasn't thrown away and it's going to be used for some cool art uh, eventually. And um, one of my viewers, April, she named uh, this book for me just kind of off the cuff, but I can't, I kind of think it's sticking so far. <laughs> she called it the composition book of unwasted paint. <laughs> so that is what it will be called for now anyway. <laughs> so as you can see, it's just where I have rolled off the brayer. You can see on the, the bottom layer of this is just cleaning off my brayer. Same thing over here. And then I will come back in, you know, working on a different project and I've got extra paint and so I'll put it through a stencil, maybe a stencil I was using for that project. And uh, stamps, do the same thing with the foam stamps, you know, stamping extra stuff. And sometimes, even if I run out of uh, paint that I'm trying to use up, I'll go ahead and get, put out some more just so that I can finish up that color on the page so that I can spread it out all over. So it's kind of like creating these pages in a long, slow process. <laughs> so um, here's some drips, just seeing how that would work. I do like the crinkliness of these pages. That's kind of cool to <laughs> have a nice little sound to them now that they've been coated in paint but um, this is just you know turning over a stencil you can see obviously the uh, alphabets are backwards here and you know using up what's on a stamp and using up white paint here just making some little circles and like this one's real grungy I like the way it looks really grungy and so I'm thinking that the ones the pages that I really like when I'm finished playing with them all the ones that I really like, I may take out and use on a project, like, say, to put in my art journal or, you know, to use on a canvas or something like that. The others that I'm not as crazy about, I may use uh, those as, like, a collage-type book and put magazine images and words and and make a, what Shannon calls, what Shannon Green calls a um, uh, journal for no reason. <laughs> just because you like it and you like the pictures and you like the paint and stuff so but I do really like this one when I first started I was using both sides of the pages and I quickly realized that that wasn't going to work and because then I would have to decide which page I wanted <laughs> wanted to use if I were to take it out you know and use it on something I would have to give up one so eventually here you'll see that I stopped using both sides but uh this is just leftover stuff or, you know, like this one I used the book when I was spraying something and so all the excess around the, whatever it was, around the page, all the excess came onto this page instead of being wiped up and thrown away um, from the craft mat. Still on the other side here, just brushing on extra paint. Now see, like this particular page I don't care that much about. But you know, I've had so many pages that in here that I really did not like when the first few layers went on. I didn't like them at all. I was like, yuck. But eventually, they, some of them have turned into some really cool pages. So <clears throat> I have to reserve my judgment on them now <clears throat> because you just don't know how they're going to turn out. Like this one, for instance, it's so blah. But this page needs some black. You know, if I get in here with a black pen and maybe some brighter bolder colors like purple and I think that would just totally transform this page so we'll see how that goes this one's kind of cool that was a uh, it looks like maybe a stencil that I turned over on top of that where I had rolled off the brayer and this one <clears throat> I don't remember exactly what was going on here um uh, Looks like it went through a, I went through a stencil and then I um, used up some black paint from with a stamp. Excess gray paint that I just swirled on there. And 
These are kind of cool. These are going to be really cool when I get in here with the black paint pen. I'm, I'm looking forward actually to doing those pages. You know, just doing some outlines and some doodles. This is just doodled with a paintbrush on top of where I had rolled off the brayers. Um, so I doodled with excess white paint with the paintbrush and then I'll just go in there and doodle with a, with a pen or marker and it'll, I think it'll really uh, change it up a little bit. But I love the colors on this one. Just extra paints, extra paints here too, just doodling with the brush. Getting rid of paint from the ed, from the very last remnants of paint there on a, on a paintbrush. This is the brayer being uh, cleaned off and uh, also testing out my, uh, my homemade stamps that I created. Let me show you those. If you may have seen a couple of my stamps already in, um, in another video. I use, uh, I use some of them in my uh, Journaling by Fives uh, book. So far I have this many, let's see. So I have this leaf, I don't have, these were just the last ones that I made, but I have this leaf pattern here, and on the back side I have a bigger, just a single leaf. I love it that you can use both sides. This is an eraser, by the way. You can carve out both sides of an eraser and have two stamps. Here's um, one with three triangles, and this side is where this checkerboard came in. So I did a, you know, a pattern I kept stamping. Here, just testing it out. Then I did an open leaf pattern on this one and an open uh, branch. So I have a closed, closed up branch and an open branch, and then I have a, a open leaf and a closed leaf on those. Okay, and then this one is the arrow. <clears throat> and that's this down here and here, and here, and I haven't done anything on the back side of that one yet. And then this one I cut, I think this was one whole one, yes, and I cut it in half and I made um, the flower and this little burst looking stamp right there. So those are the ones I've made so far. I do want to, uh, to do a video uh, showing you how I carve them out uh, pretty soon here. And uh, got plans to do it, I'm just not sure exactly when yet, but I will. And, okay, we'll go to the next page. I think this is where I pretty much stopped. I hadn't quite stopped yet doing the back side. That's just rolled off um, the brayer. This one I really like, and I'm looking forward to doing something fun on this one. I'm not sure what yet, but I think it'll be fun. This is um, the brayer rolled off and then a piece of punchinella that I turned over. After I jelly printed with it, I turned it over onto this page, and I love the way that looks. That... Um, that vivid green color there, I love that. So that's neat. Okay, here's um, okay. Here's where I've already taken one page out. You might remember that I used a page from this book. Um, so far, I've used just this one, and I made um, a card for a friend of mine. Um, yes, for my friend. And it was called Some Kind of Wonderful. So if you're curious about this page, if you um, haven't seen that video yet, you can go back into my in my list. And it's called Mixed Media Card, Some Kind of Wonderful. And so then this was just a, you know, extra stamp, you know, extra paint. Actually, this was a stamp also, this flower, using up some, evidently, some of this pink colored paint. More roller, uh, rolling the brayer and um, bubble wrap looks like. These were bubble wrap and a little bit of um, script stencil on that one. This one I've already doodled on. So I like this one a lot. It's for the most part finished. <laughs> but um, this was literally just using up extra paint. I had extra blue paint one day and I painted with the brush little squares. Just plain little squares. And I had green at one point and I went in and made dots. You know, I mean, it's just a, it's just a layer after layer of just, you know, day after day after day of, of using up wasted paint, uh, unwasted paint. <laughs> so, 
So, and then of course I came in and um, and doodled around all the little flowers and doodled around the boxes and the circles and the dots and all that stuff with the uh, black pen. So I like that one. There's another, um, just, you know, brayer on the background and then stamps and this is that when I was making that uh, index card that's that I used this play stamp on. This one you can barely see, but it's um, it's just what came off of the back side of a stencil that had been on the jelly plate. Extra paint just you know, swirled on with a brush. That's a little stamp I was testing. Um, not sure about how this um, coral color or this fluorescent orangey color. I'm not sure about that. I don't remember that one. This is one where I was testing out using that script script stencil with some um, with some modeling paste, and I did it in black first, and it you know it smeared, made a mess, and then later I was using it again with with white paint. So I went over the top of it with white to tone down the black, and you know practiced, you know stamped a uh, feather stamp here, and it's a little bit of. Um, dot stencil down there and all, all through and some fluorescent orange whatever I used I'm not sure what what I used it's <laughs> another scribbly page using up paint that hopefully will turn into something cool one day this one's pretty cool I covered the whole page with that blue evidently I had a lot of paint on the, <laughs> on the craft mat but just used up the blue and then later came in and used up some yellow and red and black making the circles, white making the triangles through the stencil. There's a stamp down here. It's very pale. See, it's more using up paint. This, um, this star here is a um, piece of that uh, needlepoint canvas it's up here too. And I use that needlepoint canvas as a stamp and put it in paint, you know, stamp it down. Makes a really cool pattern, especially for backgrounds. Here's some more. And some of these I really like. They're just, um, they just start coming out really cool. And, you know, once you get a few colors on the page, then when you have paint to use up, you know, then what I do is I go through and I, and I, see which pages that the paint I have is going to complement. And so I I do kind of plan it in that sort of way. Once once I get a couple of colors on the page, then I start paying attention to what colors I put where. Another stencil being turned over here. Some stamping in here with the paint on the bottom. Some more using up paint and some stamps and this is a stencil a zebra stencil I was um, practicing using that it's all just you know it's basically a lot of the same things over and over but just in different colors because I'm using you know doing different projects when I use up the paint this is one that I made when I was making my painted circles and I had a lot of excess of the colors I was using and I just ended up get, you know, getting them all onto this page and then the, the black paint that was left over that, I, that you make the black circle around it with, I just stamped it all over the place. It's just a mishmash of everything here. There's that stamp again that I, that I made <clears throat> out of the eraser and some other stamps that I was using up some um, stencils on this page just you know using up the excess off the stencils here's some more of that um, needlepoint canvas it's a circle shape and um, some other stencils the small dot or maybe this was a punchinella I think and then some just some orange paint that I just made some little circles with Probably with that little uh, finger uh, dauber thing and just using up the paint on it there. 
and some more stencils, Punchinella stamps. These this triangle stamp is a foam stamp that I have. And this was um, the paint on the bottom here was um, gosh I don't remember I don't remember what I was creating but there's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of paint there but it's not been rolled off with a brayer it looks like it's like circular or something I don't know what I did but you remember this when uh, when I was making the uh, the deli paper <laughs> so I finished up using the white paint that day. Um, using that little stencil that I, that's not really a stencil that that I made it into a stencil from the um, frozen dinner and I like this page a lot too I think it looks cool lots of cool colors on there and the white see just kind of makes everything pop looks good same thing with this one good colors you know on the background and then I came back in later with the orange to you know to make it all work together the black stamps and the white circles, a little bit of um, Punchinella here, so even some black splatters on this page. I don't know if you can see that. So it's cool. It's just fun way to save up all your paint. I mean, I've got more than half of a book filled now. I like the colors on this one a lot too. So I think this one needs something like um, some black um, script stamps, you know, here and there. I think that would kind of set that off, make it look cool. I like this one too. And it's just, you know, using up what's left over. Some leftover orange, I just made some circles. That's from a stencil. These are from stencils. It looks like there was a brayer, uh, brayer on the bottom. And then just excess yellow paints here. These colors on the bottom uh, look like from when I was doing my journaling by fives. I think that's what all of these colors might be. Yep, yeah, that's where those came from. So using up paint with a foam stamp here and uh, using up some um, metallic paint. The blue and the pink are, um, are shiny. I don't know if you can tell. There you go. Tell it a little bit on the blue more. I like this one a lot too. And this is a purple uh, paint for the flower and then there's a little, uh, another little stamp that I used um, on the center with some lighter, with some lighter colored pink paint to make the centers. And I also stamped it in these squares. So, just fun stuff. Oops, another back page. <laughs> well, I definitely will be picking this page over that page. <laughs> so, this one's kind of messy looking, but I think this one would be a really cool background for, um, to put a focal image on and some words and then do a border around kind of like we do in a journaling by fives look i think that would make a good background that's another one it's really hard to describe each page because they're all basically the same thing this is another stamp here that i was um, using up excess black paint and this is that little flower that I made with the eraser. I love this one. This one's so, I like the deep, rich colors like what you see on this page. <laughs> and then you get the pop of that bright uh, green. I love that. And the orange, pink. That's yummy. That'll look really good with some black on it here and there too. And then these were when I was... Um, using my drywall tape, it's like a stencil, and I was painting, my intent was to paint the tape, but at the same time I was painting, I wanted it to go through the holes and color these pages in the book, and then I added some circles. And I've got a couple pages of that here. There's another one uh, with the tape, and then I 
you know, stamp some other things on top. There's another one with the same thing. Just some excess paint with a brush here and some circles stamped on with paint and uh, the orange flowers. Excess black paint, a little bit of, I don't know what underneath there. I don't know why the, I'm not sure why the colors are so light there, but that's what that is. And there's a couple that I skipped unintentionally. I guess I was in a hurry. <laughs> and um, these are um, stamps that I made using hot glue on cardboard uh, pieces. And I was testing those out here. They don't stamp all that well. I, I didn't really make them the right way. There's a border one here. and I'll have to work on those again, <coughs> creating those. This one I really like. And it was totally just the last thing I added was um, actually was this yellow. Actually, it's gold. Not yellow, but it's gold. See those gold swirls? But I really loved it. Fell in love with it as soon as I put on the... Um, the black flowers. It's the same black stamp, uh, flower stamp that I used in um, on my labels the other day that I made. And um, I, there was just yuck paint on the bottom, really. And once I added those black flowers, it suddenly, you know, started emerging. And then I put some aqua in the centers and green dots, using up some green paint. And, and then I did those gold swirls and I love it. So I already love it and I'm not even finished with it yet because I'll still outline, scribble around these circles everywhere. And I'm anxious to see how this one will turn out. Okay, here's, here's just plain rolling off the brayer. Okay, this is plain just rolling it and getting all the paint off. The bottom layer back here, the solid stuff is rolling the brayer off. And then on, on the top, these lines you see is still rolling the brayer off, but I do it in little sections. Like I'll just touch the brayer to it, touch the brayer, touch the brayer. Just makes all these little lines. And that's how I make like that plaid pattern that you see sometimes when I tell you I was cleaning off my brayer. So that's how I do that. There's some more of the same thing. The solid back there is, you know, rolling the paint off the brayer. And then these on top are just like that was just a small section instead of a big long roll, it was just a shorter roll. And then these yellow ones were even shorter still, you know, just barely touching the brayer to the paper. And then these, of course, I just added another day when I uh, had extra teal paint. Here's another favorite, I love this one. <laughs> I love the color combo um, of the brayer stuff. I love that, and then the pop of white uh, and the black. Uh, on the top, I just love that. And then the centers have gold. In the center there, I love this one. So I think that'll turn into something really fun. This one's still in the process. <laughs> Don't know what that's gonna turn into. And then this one is one I've already doodled on a little bit. Um, actually, I had done some um, stuff with some watercolors and uh, I was letting it, it actually was bleeding through. I put it on the page so that what I was working on could bleed through and then it kind of kept bleeding through. Bled through quite a few pages here. But um, then I used up some black paint on this page and the other day I was just sitting here piddling, doodling. and So that's what's on there so far. And that's, that's all I've done. But I am more than halfway done. And uh, this is the halfway point right here. So, still have this many more pages, but I'm anxious to um, I'm anxious to take some of these out and you know like make a journal page or some use it for the background of a journal page or something like that. So, so there it is, my composition book of unwasted paint, and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching, guys.